Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. I'm finally back onto it. Um, it's been a little bit of a quiet month in regards to events, but I'm super stoked for this one. I'm here at Goodwood Motor Circuit for the one and only Retro Rides Weekender. It is the Saturday. It is a super hot day, super amazing turnout. Uh, like the, the caliber of cars is next level. The variety of cars as well is actually insane. And this is definitely the busiest this event has ever been here at Goodwood. And yeah, I thought I'd bring you along and show you some of my personal highlights. There are way too many cars to cover everything, but I'm gonna show you my personal highlights, what tickles my fancy here at Retro Rides Weekend. How sick is the R32? So I'm here at the main entrance at Google Motor Circuit. The uh, tunnel that goes under the track is behind me. Now, Retro Rides utilize the venue in a very different way to many other events that take place here, such as players and any other Goodwood members event or anything like that. So here's the entrance of the tunnel. To our left, there's a bunch of low riders, which we're gonna take a look at in a minute. And over here on this side, So right now we're in the retro parking area. One cool thing about retro rides is you don't actually have to apply to be in the show. If you've got a pre, I think it's pre 2000 model car, you're like welcome to just rock up on the day with a ticket and just park up. So this area we're looking at right now is all people that have just rocked up, they've not applied. And this makes up a huge percentage of the show itself. Also managed to get the E34 out to a show finally. Um, let me guys know if you want to see more of the car on the channel. I can potentially do a video if people are interested in seeing more about this. But yeah, nice little spot next to Wayne's. Pretty sick. This is an LS swapped E30 M3. Very cool indeed. Split rims. This thing is an absolute monster. Check out inside. This is a full build. But yeah, this is normally out on track. I don't think he's tracking it this year, but super sick car. LS swapped E30 M3 with the, you know, the typical Jägermeister delivery. Iconic. But yeah, the scale of this place, guys. There's so many cars here, it's absolutely mental. Look at this Ford truck, man. This is absolutely unreal. Ford C600. Check this out. Absolutely love this prelude. Uh, John's prelude, I believe. Uh, it's been about on the scene for quite a while. Very cool car. Sits like just right. So, so nice. The vibes here, just right. Got the DJ. The DJ. The bar. All the vibes, man. There's always some sick Japanese cars and retro rides. They were though. Love this Civic. This is where you're probably going to call me out on my Japanese car knowledge throughout this vlog, but there's some good shit here. Just everywhere you look, there's old school JDM cars everywhere. Got a love of Mark II. The cool thing about all these old Jap cars is like all the old audio and stuff that people collect and leave in the cars and find over the years. Very cool. But yeah, Mark II, split rims, static, so sick. And this that's in here. This comes to like all the retroize events. Absolutely love it. Very cool. <laughs> micro, old school micro. So sick. Do love a laurel. That's really cool. Oh, 
old school stuff everywhere. That's in 200L. That's real nice. I like that a lot of the cars at Retro Rides are actually used and abused. Love this Sylvia on work equips. Super sick. Like it's still painted, but it's still used and abused. I like that. That's real cool. So this is something very much up my street. E24, 635 CSI, Highline, late model, in the grey. Looks like it's had a repaint for very good detail because it's in real nice condition. I believe this car has actually come from the Isle of Wight. If it's the car I'm thinking about that I've seen on Insta. Super nice and of course running a set of stepped up BBS RSs. Chromed out to finish off the look. Check out inside. Check out inside. See the airlift controller in there. Yeah, this is tidy. Oh, check that out on the rear screen. Not seen one of those in a while on an E24. There's something about this Passat that I absolutely love. It just sits so right on a set of three spoke monoblock wheels. I love this. It's an absolute vibe. Sits perfect, doesn't it? Inside, like stock interior where he's running the beaded seat covers. It's proper tidy, this. Obviously on air, you can see like the manual controls down there. AMP, wooden steering wheel. Yeah, that's cool, it's a vibe. Looks really cool on those chrome free spokes. This is a perfect example of like the variation here at Retro Rise. Like check out this Scamp truck. Don't know much about it, but it looks like it's been fully done up. It's real cool. Cobra seats, bucket seats in it. Check that out. Like quite a bit of fabrication gone into this. That must be quite fun to drive around. There's too many cars. Guys, there's too many cars here to just go through everything. I will keep wandering and see if anything t tickles my fancy. I seem to be a sucker for a micro at this event. Really digging this Nissan. Um, yeah, old school of like some sort of body cut on the front. Hayashi racing wheels. So sick. These old cars, like, you really get away with all the decals. They just, they just look pretty perfect on these cars. This is really cool. It's even got a spare inside. So sick. And then check this out, Sentry. Gotta love Sentry, old school, big body VIP. That's pretty badass. There's a couple of Datsuns here, which I absolutely love. They just look super hard. This is sick. The paintwork's seen better days, but it's a very, very cool car. Bluebird, that's some Bluebird. And this 140Y, I believe. This was here last year. Check out the mental exhaust pipe. This thing's very cool. Again, guys, I don't know much about these old school Jap cars, but the scene is definitely thriving here at Retro Rides. They're badass for sure. Honda Vision mopeds have been a thing at Retro Rides and every year they, the display of these things gets wilder and wilder. They're so cool. People like go to town on the modifications, like this one for example, got all the old school shell decals on it. Like a lot of work has gone into these things to make them look super sick. They're all like, like the old Honda Visions and Honda Tax and things like that. So sick. My friend Benny was just showing me his Krispy Kreme here. That's very cool. Love that. Hopefully we'll get some shots of these things riding around later on. There's a load of sleepers here. Look at this E30, for example. Like nice coupe, relatively like relatively sleeperish and then you look inside oh just a casual s54 conversion very cool so this thing's probably a track toy proper nice 
Nissan Venet. I used to live in Spain and we used to, these were like quite common back over there. Um, people are modifying Nissan Vanettes, which is crazy. This is even on like split ad van wheels, which is so sick. This Civic has definitely caught my eye. Really like this thing. Nice splits, super sick car. Really actually like the livery on it. Okay, so I'm back at the entrance now and we're gonna go left. Um, still on the roadside of Goodwood. There's so much here. That was just a brief look at some highlights from the retro parking area. Right now, we're gonna take a left. Oh, something spicy going down the tunnel. It is David, the organizer of Retro Rides. How is your day going, sir? I'm, uh, yeah, it's been going good. It's been crazy busy. It's very busy. I was yeah. just, I'm trying to get it all into one vlog. I don't think it's gonna be possible. I might have to do two. <laughs> two. Yeah, double <laughs> episode for the first time. Yeah, we'll see. Anyway, enjoy the rest of the day, mate. Thank you very much. It's enjoy a great, great show. Thank you. See you later. So we're now going down the left side of the road side of the track, and up here there's a huge low rider display. But look at this thing. It looks absolutely unreal. Look at the furry dash, man. Unreal. That is insane. Love this. Like, where else are you going to see something like this at a show? Before we get to the low rider display, there is the NSRA, uh, so National Street Road Association, and they've bought a couple of cars. This is their pre-29 members club, so a few spicy cars here. Again, cannot give you full details on what these cars are. I mean, that's like a custom Ford 100 there on like, like check out the drag tires. Obviously, these are drag cars. Like, unreal. Mental custom builds. Very cool. Yeah, I thought that would help. And then check this out. They're all running these crazy drag Hoosier tyres, which are insane. That's mad. But the quality of these builds is top tier for sure. Okay, to the left of us would be the public entrance to any sort of Goodwood members event or anything like that at the motor circuit. So this would be like the main entrance, which has been transformed into a low rider paddock. So there are low riders all around us. love this Impala. This Impala was with us last year. Just unreal car. We'll try and come back later when they're actually doing some hops for us. But does it get any better than this? I don't think so. Obviously all the roofs. So sick. So this display is pretty much organized by lay and play probably the biggest lowrider group in the UK. They run like a lowrider register, so you can pretty much find out all about the UK lowriders in one place. So they put this display together. I dig it. That's G. So there are RC, RC lowriders. More impalas. So sick. But yeah, we'll put back here later when these guys are hopping around, uh, get some more action shots. Over here, this whole section here is 
organised by South East Mark II Golf Club. I actually designed the poster for this and I'm quite happy to see it printed out up large like that. That's quite cool. So it's 40 years, they're celebrating 40 years of the Mark II Golf and they have 40, probably over 40 Mark II Golfs here on display. I'm not going to go over all of them, there's some really high quality ones here. I'm just going to pick a few favourites. Um, really like this GTI 60 valve in black um, because it's on a gorgeous set of BBS RSs. Loving that. It's very tidy. And then there's a real nice, again on BBS RSs, real nice Mark II Jetta. Do like a Jetta four door. Super sick. Bedroom, and then, the yeah, there's just loads of them, man. Very nice high quality as well. Real nice display and a super cool way to celebrate 40 years of the Mark II Golf. Actually, one of my favorite golfs. So we're now heading under the tunnel to the other side of the track. First of the bat on this side, guys. It's real cool to see the ledge room have a pop-up display here. So these guys are all about like traditional custom cars, 50s, 60s, custom builds. So sick. Like some of the work, the attention to detail on these cars is awesome. This is like a bare metal. And they've got pinstriping going on on the doors. So sick, inside. Look at the steering wheel, love that. Real cool. So yeah, these guys run their own car show and they bought a selection of very cool cars with them. Look at this, man. Check out the roof on this. Insane. There's such an eclectic mix of like displays here at Retro Rides, so it's real cool to get a, like a little look or an insight into different car cultures. Um, things that I don't really know anything about, but I'm super intrigued, and especially like the attention to detail on some of these builds is the next level. So this has got to be the highlight for me of this curated display. It's a 1959 Chevrolet El Camino and the paintwork, the paintwork is phenomenal and I mean phenomenal like the sparkle, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, it's unreal and then check out the roof. It looks so good in the sun. I love that. Like these are swivel seats in the front. Absolutely mad. But there's so many, there's so many small details in here. Here's the, the plaque. So this is a 60s traditional style custom. And there's like a work in progress. So like a project here just to show all the work that goes into these things. I love that. Yeah. So the lead room, very cool display. Over here, so it is Saturday, which means the track is open. So all these people have applied to go on track. We're going out all day, all sorts, like a super varied amount of cars going out on track. It's an alpha, like touring car vibe. But yeah, A86, super sick. This afternoon they're all doing the special stage, which is a section of the track. Are you enjoying the event? It's very, very hot. It gets better every year and I tell every year. It really does. It's, this is the best show of the year and everyone's like, oh, that looks sick. I'll go next year and then they don't go. Yeah, so, so they need to come, right? 
just go. Exactly. Like, what are you doing? Just and go. this show's getting bigger and bigger each year. Yeah, every year it gets like, bigger. Like, there's that whole other section over there. Which yeah, I haven't seen one. I no was amazed. I was absolutely amazed. And, like, last year felt like the first year that it really achieved what it should do. Yeah. And grew into this space. And this year's even better than that. It's incredible. Yeah, it's a motorsport event, Henry. What do you expect? It's a motor. Yeah, people are driving their cars. People are actually using their cars, yeah. which is quite cool. There's elements of car culture here. Yeah. Like little fractions of car culture. Oh yeah. Like I've never seen any of those like custom cars before, anything like that. Oh no, that. the lead rooms. Like, like lead room like, stuff. That's just stuff you wouldn't see at you, other shows. Exactly, so you'd have to go to a specific show to yeah, see you that. Yeah, you need to go to a Karna kind of show to see that. But if you come here, then you've got a bit of all all things like that, which I, I really like. I think the people who organize retro rides, their taste is so eclectic that it really shows in the show. Exactly. Anyway, enjoy the rest of your day. Yeah. <laughs> Answer Delta off for the special stage. How sick is that? Answer some rare stuff here, man. And all these things are going out. Let's take a look at what else is going out on the special stage. Mark 1 Golf. Off-road Beetle. That is nuts. Very nice Mini. So this is where all the cars are sort of lining up to go out. So I believe the special stage have just had some demos. Like all day long, you can like, I don't have a media bib on right now. So anyone can just literally get this close to the cars, which I love. You can't really do this at any other events. Like anyone can just walk through here and get close to the action. So sick. I think it's just Team Colorado going out in one of their Beatles. Love this. Got like Epo 6s going out, more AE86. That's very clean as well. Very cool and work equips. And there's this Datsun 240Z. Sick. So now we're taking a look at one of the paddock areas. It's quite late in the day. It's about 3:30, 4 o'clock. So a few people have like left for the day. They'll be back tomorrow. This is a Special Saloons and Mod Sports series from the CSCC. This Ford Escort is unreal. This is unreal. This is so good. This is actually in Austin. Been like, from what you can tell, it's in Austin. It's been like fully built. So paddock's a bit empty at the moment because they're all out on track at the moment. But Phil Morrison from Driftworks, his E30 M3, which I believe runs an S65 V8 out of an E92 M3. Um, this thing is yeah unbelievable. So I'm now sort of pit lane trackside at Goodwood. There's pretty much sprint laps all day long and as you can imagine at Retro Rides, the variety of cars going out on track is so sick. RX-7 on some unreal ad van wheels. This thing's sick. And then further down you've got like a stock looking Mark 1 GCI. So cool. E36 ready to go out. Hug. And then yeah, being retro rides, you've still got a bunch of Hillman imps.
to paddock number two. Um, this is a paddock dedicated entirely to black cars, so cars with black paintwork. Last year it was all white cars, this year it's all black cars. <laughs> yeah. So here we go, black room. Check out this Volvo. Volvo limo with the trailer just to like kick start how insane this area is that's that is crazy nice rally pug 306 i think this was out on track earlier but yeah 306 track car super clean a great variety and they pick really really cool cars mark 1 gti a very, very clean R32 Skyline, like Astra GTC, Mark II Astra, clean as hell. Got to love a Z2. Like variation, so nice. Nice 190E back there as well. Got to love a Mustang. Yeah, Dean's R129 on some Brabus, creepy splits. It's actually blinging the sun. He's done a very good job cleaning this one. Very cool. RS4, another 190E. Yeah, super nice variation here. Supra and a real clean Mark II GTI. 20 BT on some RMs. It's real cool. Oh, Audi 80, I believe. Super clean as well. That's clean. Yeah, BMW 2002. Wow, so another Austin. Austin there. XR2 Fiesta, proper old school vibes. Well, real nice. This is hard. E36, fast road track car. Some big old tyres. That's cool. I wonder if it's got a swapped engine carbon bonnet. It's quite sick. Yeah, that is actually. That's real cool. Standard E36 problems, missing an indicator. Yeah, that's sick. Look at this, Alpha. See what I mean by variation? Like, it's mental, it's actually mental. That's real nice. And then E21, that's real cool. Next to a Carmen Gear. But seriously, <laughs> this limo is crazy. Got a lot of uh, bags, Aristo. In the black room, VIP. It should sound pretty nuts as well. That's real cool. Sits perfect. Crazy top on there. Love that. So now we move on to the final paddock here at Goodwood Motor Circuit. This one is called Pop Tarts. Can you guess what the theme is? <laughs> So it's pop-up headlights. All these cars have pop-up headlights. Uh, so two real nice Honda Preludes here. Uh, this one on Compromotives in the red. You don't normally see red ones, I really like that. The seats in these cars are so sick. And then this one, I believe both, these are two Preludes owned by two Yazzes, both Yazzes. So that's, pro that's quite cool in itself. Yeah, nice little example here. This one's got loads of custom paint on, custom bodywork, like huge body kit on it. Work VS wheels, like super nice. That's 
that is, yeah, stunning. This car's like gone through quite a few looks and like spot on right now. Really like it. Yeah, real nice pair. So moving on, Supra, old school Supra on complimented wheels. Again, pop-up headlights, of course. This is real clean. This is a, it's a Supra, but it's the Celica, it's a Supra Celica or, or Celica Supra, however you want to call it, but it's a vibe. And then over here, check this out, it's Fices, Honda NSX, on airlift, RSs, mad car. Love that. And yeah, over here, check this out, Pantera. You never see these. The only time I see Panteras is at retro rides. See, everyone's, everyone's intrigued by this car. It's real clean. So someone's gone all out on the roof tent, the Porsche. Obviously there's gonna be loads of Porsche 924s, 928s. Loads of these, loads of these applied. A lot of Porsches, Lotus as well. This MX-5 is pretty cool. Um, I really dig the paintwork on the roof. Check this out. I believe the girl that owns this is, is a painter herself, so. That's real nice. So a lot of work's gone into that. Like that is real cool. It's a vibe for sure. So yeah, more Porsches. Like that a lot. So I really like this 200 SX. It's got some sort of over fender kit on it. Super wide, super big wheels. The front's long champs up front. They're real nice. It sits perfect. Got some big boy tires as well. That's cool. That's the RX-7. Proper old school RX-7. That's sick. RX-7. AE86s, of course. So many cars that, like, you'd have to have a proper think about what have pop-up headlights, what all these do. Two Toyotas, MR2s and that. Yeah, very cool. Right, so that was a few more highlights from the final paddock, and it doesn't end there. I'm now walking over, round the back of Goodwood Motor Circuit, there's the airfield there. The Mini's driving past. There's the aerodrome. So this wasn't here last year. We were just going past a Goodwood Aerodrome cafe restaurant. And look, look how busy the show is. <laughs> They've expanded the show all the way back. So these are, again, retro parking. So people have just turned up today with a pre-2000 car, bought a ticket, and they're in the show. And the show's expanded all the way back here. There's rows, guys, I'd love to go through all of this, but the video is going to be way too long. But just like there are some really nice, high quality cars here as well. But we might go through that tomorrow when they're out on track on the Breakfast Club parking. Um, there's so many cars here. It's unreal. Bumped into Mark in his R32. How's it What's happening? All right. Good. Yeah, good man. Had a good day? Go awesome. and change the radiator hose. It's very hot. Yeah, it's horrible. We've got a right. split in a hose. So oh dear. We'll see you later on. Yeah, well, Good luck. Such a sick R32 on Riga Meisters. Riga Masters, I should say. We're heading back onto the lawn at Goodwood now. Uh, this is, I just wanted to point out this Toyota Corolla. It's real nice. Love the color of it. Love this. See what I mean by, I probably sound like a broken record, but see what I mean by variation everywhere you look. I mean, look at this, another old school skyline. Absolutely unbelievable RS turbo. The wheels on it, everything about it, it's just gangster. It's 
It's very cool, isn't it? I mean, you don't see these cars anywhere. So cool. Like Nissan. I think it's a Sunny. Correct me if I'm wrong. Wagon. I do love a wagon. And then, guys, it's just like Audi 80 Coupe. So sick. Looks like, look like complimented wheels. Could be wrong. That's lovely. It's definitely been repainted in like a pearl white by the looks of it. It's proper sparkly. It's super tidy. Super, super tidy. These are growing on me quite a lot. And look at this Escort. You go from like super clean to super patina with this Escort. That's badass. Look at the, look at that. So sick. This is something for John Ludwig. Amazing patina on this. Yeah, still on sick wheels as well. The patina, so nice. Yeah, can't get enough of that Audi. Lovely. Some more patina for you. I believe this is some sort of Corolla. It's tiny, it's absolutely tiny. And this is so sick. So now we're heading into like the main Goodwood lawn area. At other shows, this is full of show cars. At retro rides, this is more of a like a trade area and food and drink area, and it's got a real chill vibe to it. A bunch of traders, there's a cool car. Oh, look, check out a Dodgem. That could be a lot of fun. So Bill Stein are like the main show sponsors this year, retro rides. Um, they've got a super cool Rover V8 on the stand, and I do like the Porsche 964. This is real nice. It's fully like gutted out, ready for the track. Super sick. Like that quite a lot. So this is Retro Ride's very own Toyota Mark II. It's a GX71 and it's basically like a Kaido racer style. They actually originally like imported this from the Riverside guys, I believe, over in New Zealand. As you can see, it's got it's like a whole style. They've done like custom fully custom front end, which is absolutely nuts. It really, like, a lot of work's gone into this. It's fully static, so like real difficult to drive on UK roads. So that I think they've, I think David's actually had to uh, lift it up a little bit just to be able to actually move it. But yeah, absolutely nuts thing. It's on SSR wheels. I think they're Mark three wheels, not sure, but SSR wheels. And it's just a whole vibe really. Absolutely love this thing. So I think I'm going to bring this episode of Retro Rides Weekender to an end. I am totally done for the day. I'm so hot, so exhausted from shooting all morning as well. The weather's been absolutely amazing. Hopefully tomorrow will be the same. Hope you've enjoyed the content. Um, let me know what your favourite cars are in the comments. Um, and if you're enjoying this sort of content, these shows where there's a, it's not all just stance cars, but it's something a little bit different for everyone. So let me know if you enjoyed it. Um, there may be a part two. If there is, stay tuned, stay subscribed. Appreciate all the subscriptions and all the nice comments recently. It's really like helping me to push through and actually make more of these videos. I'm really hoping to make loads more throughout the summer now that the shows are properly like kicking off now. Yeah, appreciate every single one of you guys. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one very soon. Laters. Thank <laughs> you.